Hi everyone, we're going to read a story today. It's written by Adam and Charlotte Ghislaine. The story is called The Bookweek Monster. It's about a girl who can't decide what costume to wear to her book parade. I love book week, Anna cried. Just three more days to go. But what shall I dress up as? It's so hard, I just don't know. She spread out all her picture books and picked her favourite three. Which character from all of these should I dress up to be? I can't be big bad wolf, she huffed. This costume's far too big. I won't dress as Rapunzel in this horrid itchy wig. This dragon suit is boiling hot and fairies aren't quite me. She closed her eyes and wailed out loud. I don't know what to be. Dad stuck his head around the door. Let's think of something new. Quick, come along with me, he said. I know just what to do. They sped past lots of busy shops, the bank and superstore, the shoe shop and the hairdressers, then stopped outside a door. The bookshop! Anna gasped. Hooray! Her eyes were open wide. The perfect book must be in here, but how can I decide? So Anna told the bookseller what books she liked to read. Aha, he cried. If that's the case, then here's the book you need. She read the book six times that night and ten times more next day. The hero was a monster in a jungle far away. I've got the answer, Anna cheered. Here's what I want to be. We need to make this costume fast. Together, you and me. The night before the book week, Anna told Dad what to do. It needs a dragon's spiky tail. The ears should be bright blue. It's got two twirly whirly horns and whiskers long and white. And don't forget the spots and stripes. Dad cut and sewed all night. When Anna tried it on next day, she shouted out, Yippee! It's perfect, Dad. I just can't wait for all my friends to see. They raced to school in record time and Anna stopped to stare. Look, astronauts and dragons and a pirate witch and bear. Soon everyone was chattering and spotting who was who. But time and time again they asked, Hey Anna! What are you? You must know, Anna cried. Just wait, I'll show you in my book. But everyone was going in. There was no time to look. She heard, what are you? At register, that means at roll call. Then, what are you at play? And what are you at lunchtime? It was, what are you, all day. At reading time, poor Anna took her book and tried to hide. But then the door burst open. The head teacher stepped inside. Let's look at all your costumes. Wow, they're great. I'm so impressed. But no one knows my character, howled Anna. No one guessed. She held her book up high and roared, I am this monster here. I know you are, the teacher said. 
and dabbed away her tear. This was my favourite book of all when I was young like you. I'd love to take another look and can we read it too? She smiled and held up Anna's book. The children gathered round. She opened it and read out loud and no one made a sound. Then as they shared that story, from the pages came a glow. It filled the room with magic. Trees and plants began to grow. The magic spread till everyone was in that monster land. And all the children sang along with Anna's monster band. When finally the book was closed and Anna took a bow, the children clapped and cheered and called, Let's read my story now! So next time when you choose a book, just pick your favourite kind. Then open it and take a look. What magic will you find?